Have you ever wondered what caused the most devastating stock market crash in the history of the United States? It began after the Roaring Twenties, an era of prosperity, innovation, and economic boom. A time when the American dream seemed within reach for many as they invested heavily in the stock market. The allure of quick wealth led to an explosion of speculative investments. Everyone from the well-heeled Wall Street banker to the everyday worker wanted a piece of the action. Stock prices soared, fueled by optimism and the belief that the good times would never end. This exuberance drove stock prices to unsustainable levels, creating an economic bubble that was destined to burst. Yet, behind the scenes, the economy was teetering on the edge of a precipice. The rampant speculation was inflating stock prices beyond their true value. As optimism soared, so did the stock prices, but little did the investors know that a catastrophic fall was just around the corner. October 29th, 1929, a date that still sends shivers down the spines of investors, marked the beginning of the end for many. Known as Black Tuesday, it was the day when panic selling gripped Wall Street, triggering a cataclysmic drop in stock prices. The market lost about 12% of its value in a single day, wiping out billions of dollars in wealth. The aftermath was immediate and devastating, with banks, businesses, and individual investors bearing the brunt. Banks, heavily invested in the market, faced insolvency as their assets evaporated. Businesses, relying on bank loans for expansion, found credit drying up. Investors, from the tycoons of Wall Street to ordinary folks who had gambled their life savings on the promise of easy riches were left destitute. The shockwaves of the crash reverberated through the economy, but the worst was yet to come. While the crash was catastrophic, it wasn't the sole cause of the Great Depression that followed. The financial fallout from Black Tuesday was indeed severe, but it was the subsequent banking crises, poor policy decisions, and a general lack of confidence in the economy that truly set the stage for the decade-long economic downturn. As banks failed, so too did the trust in these institutions. Suddenly, individuals and businesses were left without access to their money, leading to a severe contraction in spending and investment. This, coupled with ill-advised policy decisions such as the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act that stifled international trade, exacerbated the economic downturn. Unemployment skyrocketed, businesses shuttered, families faced unprecedented hardships. The nation was in the grip of the Great Depression, a period characterized by widespread poverty and economic stagnation. The nation was plunged into a decade of despair, the echoes of which can still be felt today. The Great Depression wasn't just an economic crisis, it was a human one. As the saying goes, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. The crash of 1929 left indelible lessons, one of which is the importance of regulatory oversight. In response to the financial catastrophe, the United States enacted the Glass-Steagall Act, which separated commercial and investment banking. This measure prevented banks from using depositors' funds for risky investments, a significant factor in the crash. Moreover, the Securities and Exchange Commission was established to regulate the stock market and protect investors from fraudulent practices. These were pivotal changes that shaped the financial landscape we know today. The crash also underscored the hazards of speculative bubbles and the importance of diversification. Investing in a wide range of assets can cushion the blow when one sector of the market suffers. Lastly, the crash influenced modern economic policies, reminding us that unchecked speculation can lead to disaster. The 1929 stock market crash serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked speculation and the importance of sound economic policies. It's a lesson we must never forget, yet today more and more speculation creeps back into the markets,